happy Sunday. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, I just have a quick word today I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but first, let's pray. Father God, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, for your anointing, your covering over this message, oh God, Lord. Let it be words from your mouth, Lord, not our own mouth, Lord. Let it be your will, Lord, not ours, Father God. And Father God, Lord, we just pray, Lord, whoever this blesses, oh God, Lord, that God, Lord, they may be blessed, oh God, Lord, abundantly, oh God, Lord. God, we thank you, Lord. Lord, there's victory in your name, Lord. There's peace in your name. There's grace in your name, Lord. And there's forgiveness. All in your name, Father God, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that, Lord, you're the name above every name. We say thank you. We love you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Friends, I just want to uh, share this quick verse, a uh, few verses, I should say. <clears throat> so it says, um, this is first John five uh first John one five through ten where uh it really is talking about the light, darkness, sin and forgiveness. This message says uh we have heard from him had declared to you God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet we walk in darkness, we live and do not live out of the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus his son purifies us from all sin if we claim to be without sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us at all if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive us for our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Verse 10 then says, If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar, and his word is not in us. Uh, real quick, uh, just to uh, clarify what this is talking about. This is talking about there's a contrast between the light and uh, that, that we carry. Uh, as we know that um, Matthew 5, uh, 16 tells us that we are the light of the world. Uh, um, well, really, verse for how it starts off in verse 14 and we are hidden on this hidden town uh we have to let our light shine uh so uh in this in the christian life um darkness uh we cannot give in to uh the darkness which is sin uh so there, there, there's a difference uh, uh light is uh representing good and uh darkness is representing evil um to really to really uh have a uh, examination uh, we have to acknowledge our flaws. Uh, we have to carefully reflect on God's word. That's why Joshua 1 and 8 says, meditate on the word day and night so we can have good success. Uh, not in the world, but in the word. Uh, we, we, we have to hide. Uh, the Bible says we have to hide his word in our hearts so we shall not sin against him. Uh, uh, so you see, it's so normal uh, as Christians uh, to come against this and uh, think all, everything, once you become Christian, it's easy uh no no but uh the reason why we have been talking about it's time to uh, uh move uh, and, and and think about it in a different perspective and really walk into the light of our truth uh is because simple as god is trying to show us something god is trying to deliver us from something god is trying to heal us from something in order for us to see what god is doing we have to understand the confession and fellowship uh there's fellowship in confession uh uh, uh the, 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 if i can name that it's uh there's fellowship in confession uh, uh see see as believers uh we have to remember that, that 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 as believers we are here for purpose see as christians one of the things that uh people make it seem out to be as if uh we're all by ourselves like everything that we do is by ourselves uh we can't we can't we we we, we don't need people but god is examining our, our heart posture and helping us by giving us people see we can't just say we're christian but not have a church home we can't say that we're Christian, but not try to fellowship with other believers by going out to these worship places, by uh, hanging out with other believers. That's why uh, uh, Second uh, Corinthians chapter six tells us that what is an unbeliever and a non-believer have in common. Uh, that's why God gives us people so then we can uh, walk with people who are equally yoked. Uh, equally yoked. All it means is that uh, 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 we have the same mindset. Uh, 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 you can't hang out with someone 
someone uh, who, who's smoking weed and doing drugs and alcohol, uh, but think that you are not going to get tempted to do that. Uh, you can't hang out with someone that is, is literally uh, in perversion and talking about uh, uh, sex and pornography and, and all the rest of the stuff, uh, but think that you can have that mindset of, I'm not going to be tempted. But instead, you have to be uh, uh, like-minded with people that are going to walk and want to walk with you to following Jesus. What it all it is is fixing our eyes on Jesus and the cross uh, so then we can walk in the fellowship. Uh, see, see, I say there is confession and fellowship uh, uh, and fellowship and confession uh, because uh, uh, we, we need each other. We need to uh, go to these places. We need to meet people who are equally yoked because James 5.16 tells us if therefore we confess our sins to one another, pray for one another so that we may be healed the prayer of the righteous person is a powerful and effective. Uh, uh, see, 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 we get confused and thinking that we don't need people, but, but, but and thinking, why should I confess my sins? Uh, but I should only confess it to God. But yes, God is going to be the one that's not going to tell it, but you really need to find people who you could confess your sins to. I remember when I was, um, few years ago back when I was when I was when I, I, I was just going to church and going through the motions uh, but one day my pastor said uh, who do you confess your sins to uh, and, and I remember we went out for breakfast one morning and I was sharing all this about what other people were doing but when he asked me what my sins were it, it was hard to uh, try to come up with what do I do that's wrong and I had I, it was almost like that 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 religious spirit like oh what I don't do anything wrong like I, I, I'm good but the only perfect one was Jesus. Uh, see, what made it so easy uh, about confessing the sins uh, was because I was around other people. I remember being at college and not being able to uh, 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 feel like I can perform well and go to these Bible studies, go to these worship places in my own college of East Strasburg University uh, because I felt like I was an imperfect person because all, uh, 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 maybe not telling it out loud was easy, but 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 feeling condemned and condemning myself uh, in, in it would make me feel like I should not go to these places. I should just let uh, bygones be bygones. I should just stay in my dorm uh, because I, I know that I, 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 my flesh is going to cry out. My flesh wants this. Uh, Paul says in the book of Romans uh, chapter 7 that the good that I say that I would do, I find myself not doing and the things I said I won't do, I find myself doing. Uh, and it was so easy to fall into the flesh, fall into the, uh, my, my, my heart and flesh cry out. The Lord never fails me. It was almost like I was going through a uh, falsehood, and and I remember I spoke on this uh, about the falsehood that that, that that again going back to uh, if we're claiming that we have no sin, we we are living truly in that falsehood because we're uh, saying that we don't have sin. We we're saying that we don't do this. We're saying that when we're claiming uh, that that there were this perfect people, but really God is trying to show us that we're imperfect people that need Him. See, uh, 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 real quick, uh, those who don't understand, confession actually brings you closer to God. See, it's by his blood, by his stripes that we are healed. It's by the blood of Jesus, watch this, that says, that purifies us from sin. You cannot feel like you can do this by yourself you can you can confess to god but god is going to give you also with people that you can confess to because you never know you never know when you confess it that you might find someone that's really struggling with that same sin i remember sharing with people about my my fear and, 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 and uh, of sharing the gospel and i remember i confessed that and it was so funny because when I confessed that, I, I, the person I was talking to said, hey, you know what? I struggled with that same thing. I remember talking about how I used to struggle with lust. And yeah, that's such a big revogatory thing uh, to say on the Internet. But I remember sharing that. And, and that's what made people get drawn close to. I struggled with that, too, because because I struggle with that. I know that. Hey, you know what? Watch this. The second part. We're not just saying I can saying this is what I did. But the Bible also says then we pray together. We're really equally yoked. We're going to pray together. We're going to 
pray against the sin of uh, uh, perversion. We're going to pray off the sin of fear. We're going to pray off the sin of confusion. We're going to pray off the sins of this world that are trying to oppress us and keep us down. Uh, but, but really, the righteous never has fail as much. They're really, the righteous are, are here to know that God is uh, is here to save us, to uh, conform us to His uh, 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 word, and not conform and, and not have us conform to the patterns of the world. That okay, well, we all do it. Maybe, uh, since everybody does this, we should all do it. But God is trying to remind us in this season that if we confess our sins, that we can be made free. See, it also re reminds you that confession also frees you from sin because that prayer, going back to that prayer and brings you closer to God. The, the Bible tells us in uh, James James chapter 4 that we draw near to him, he'll draw near to us. Uh, if we we, 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 we uh, open our hands and let him wash our hands, uh, we don't want to be double-minded. We don't want to be in the church and be worshiping, but yet, go, uh, yet on Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, we're living in bondage. We're living in sin uh, when God had already freed us from sin uh, um, uh, but 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 really frees us from sin because we know that that God is here to break off change break off change of addiction uh, you could you could be someone that's watching this that was addicted to drugs you could be someone that was addicted to uh, 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 lustful things you can be addicted to money you could be addicted to anything that the world is trying to oppress you and make you feel like uh, this is what we're supposed to do uh, but really as Christians we're supposed to uh, draw close to him so we can walk more in the light uh, what, what brings fellowship together is that that when you need you that that uh, it, it's an understanding that it's not our will but it's his will that it's not uh, 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 what we can do but it's what his blood can do. Many people think that being Christian means you're perfect. No, they don't want to hear people that uh, feel like they never had a complete story but everybody has a story it may not been the same story that everybody else has it may not been the same struggle that everybody else has but uh there's some point where everybody had an encounter with christ i i remember i shared this uh that, that one day i was in the cafeteria at, 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 right there at east stroudsburg university and, and i remember when i uh, i i i remember the lord was really just just speaking to me and ministering to me as i was listening to uh maverick city lean back and where the part where it says your love is better your love is healing your love is forgiven i started weeping because there was a part in that where uh god really showed me uh that, that it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to cry because really my my heart was out and saying like, i can't do this by myself I, I i need people that's why god has given me people that's why i said uh sometimes you might have to share a text with somebody uh share a nice uh, message give somebody a phone call just uh send somebody a scripture post something on instagram just to remind people that you are not alone that's the good thing about social media that we're all on it that we can share this we can share the gospel with people so we know that it's not alone it's not alone in this journey this journey was never a, a bent to be uh for you that uh, was supposed to be alone can you imagine uh, the lives that can be saved if more people confess that they are struggling uh more people were uh, uh confessing that they were in depression and not everybody and not every sunday uh they walked into a church and they said i, I i'm blessed and highly favored i'm good I, 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 I'm just feeling great today. Can you imagine if somebody just said, I'm not feeling great today. I, I need some prayer. There's some stuff that's going on. There's, there's some things that I just need prayer for. There's some things that I just need healing for. I need breakthrough for. Can you imagine if everybody did that? Uh, I, I, what, what, what it's going to do? How it's going to bring us close to God? How we can all pray? And it says, now unto him who's able to do unseemly abundantly more than we ask, think, or imagine. Uh, uh, more than the power that works it within us can you imagine if we all did that can you imagine that god is still moving like, can you imagine how god is still the king and jesus is king just like that flag says on my wall can you imagine what god can do if we can if we all just confess that really that that, that i'm not okay that it's okay to not be okay because that means that i need him I said faith over fear. The switch says faith over fear. And the Lord brought that to me because it says faith over fear. Because I, I love how 
I walk out on faith and not on fear. People say, why do you share your business on the internet? <laughs> because I walk by faith and not by fear that if God is for me, who can be against me? Uh, I share this because on the internet, there's somebody watching that that that, that might be needing that breakthrough, that saying that uh, I, 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 I'm worshiping Jesus, but I'm not alone with struggles. I'm not, I'm not alone with trying to get close to him. I'm not alone with with, with, with things that uh, uh, that need to be broken and the, the damages that, that people have put on me that need to be healed and fixed. But God is here. God is here. And I want to share with you why it brings fellowship with one another. Because it brings fellowship because of one that we're supposed to fellowship. We can't we can't go to church and act like we're perfect and claim that we love God, but really God's not in us when, when 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 we're most vulnerable when we're most vulnerable are we praying are we turning into the worldly things are we uh because sometimes you might find yourself really doing that you find to the worldly things but you got to remember when uh, the things when you're struggling you feel tempted god it said the bible tells us in uh first corinthians uh chapter 10 uh it tells us that 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 um that he does not give us more temptation than any of us can bear. Uh, really, the Bible tells us that that God is, is not going to give us anything and more uh, anything that we cannot handle. That everything I, I I spoke last time saying he's the name above all names because he's the name above fear. He's the name above suicide. He's the name above homicide. He's the name above pornography. He's the name about any lustful thought in your head. He's the name above drugs. He's the name above anxiety. He's the name above every name that God exalted him to be that name. Uh, so then we can know that, Lord, by his stripes, by that we are healed. By his blood, we are healed. By uh, Galatians uh, uh, chapter 2, verses 20, uh, tells us that we have been crucified with Christ. We can be crucified in the flesh and be re 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 uh, re-erected by the anointing and the resurrection power of God. That we, yet, yet Yesterday, I may have felt like a sinner. Yesterday, I may have felt like... Uh, I, I, I was condemned, but today I feel good. Today I feel blessed because I know that I'm not alone in my struggles. Because I know that what fellowship is going to bring, uh, it's going to bring us closer to God. Because we can pray on these things. We won't be we won't be silent on the things that the enemy has told us to be silent. One of the things that the enemy tries to do is try to make you fall into sin and be quiet about it and try to shut your mouth about it. But you really want to break off the chain of the enemy. You that you got to you got to outsmart the enemy. You got to break off the enemy's chains. He doesn't want you to tell that you are struggling with this. He doesn't want you to tell that you have sinned and fell short of the glory. But God wants you to share that because God wants you to know oh, he, he that he has you. He has your back. He's, he is for you. He is not against you. I know that maybe sometimes this is a struggle. Who can I find? Who can I find as trust, trustworthy? But I can tell you what, that, that you got to find you a place. You got to find you some good people that you that are able to mingle with. You got to let people know uh, not, not just your story but you got to let people know that you are going to make it you're going to be a uh, fine you're going to you're going to pray together you're going to watch together you're going to you're you're you're, you're going to be watch men i should say together uh and, and you're going to just can continue to run this good race i tell you friends let me tell you something the bible tells you in hebrews chapter 12 uh, uh fix our eyes on jesus but then watch this it says because we are surrounded by a great cloud of witness we can go on and endure this race. And I'm telling you as a as a believer, I'm telling you as someone who used to condemn myself and could not be around other people because it, well, I felt like I was too much of a sinner. Now I tell you, I can I can encourage the people to, to let you know that God is a forgiving God. God is a healing God. God is a merciful God. God is a way maker. God is a promise keeper. God is a, a miracle worker. He will make ways out of no ways. I just wanted to share with you for just a few minutes that like if you confess, I'm telling you, God is going to do what he said he will do. All you got to do is confess it. All you got to do is believe it. And I'm telling you, when you pray and you encourage the people, right now I'm in a, I'm in a class of, um, I'm doing, um, I'm doing prayer and revival and i'm doing an inner healing class 
And one of the things that we talked about is validating people. And when you validate people, it's, you know, it's easy, yeah, it's easy to validate, but I'm telling you what the enemy's lies uh, will tell you that you're not this, you, you're you nothing, you're not worthy. Uh, but but I'm telling you, when you when you confess with, uh, 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 what, what, what the enemy and lies that have been told on you, God is just going to make ways. God is just going to make you feel better. God is just going to make you feel like, yes, I know I can make it. I know that I'm more than a conqueror. I know who I am. I know who God says I am because I am a uh, I am a believer. I'm a believer. Now let me tell you something. God made you. God made you beautiful. God made you wonderful. God made you fearfully and wonderfully made. I just want to say God made you. God, you greater is in you that's not in that 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 is in this world. Uh, I'm telling you, God is in the world. God God is the Word, and, and I'm telling you, God is the world, and the world is His. The Bible tells us everything that He made. I, 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 he made it good. He blessed it. And I'm telling you, you are, you are somebody. I want to share with somebody who feels like they are, they, they messed up. They can't, they can't come back from this. I want to tell you that God is going to forgive you. God is here. God is, God is word. God is the truth. God is the life. God is the way. And I want to share you that this word and this word is of our instructions. The Bible says that all the Bible is, is that it, it is something that's going to be teachable, something that's going to be reachable, something that's going to be uh, 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 instructionable. That, that that this is the instructions of uh, of living. This is the basic instructions of uh, uh, be, before we leave this earth. That before we leave this earth, I want to encourage you that God is going to make a way. God is still for you. God is going to make a way. And I'm telling you that we confess our sins and say that what I and it's not about. I don't preach for what I am. I preach for what I'm not because. I I know that by his blood, he's going to purify me. By his blood, he's going to make a way. By his blood, he's going to do these things. By his blood, I can walk in the light. I don't have to be afraid of darkness anymore. I am the light. I am more than conqueror. I know that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. I know that I don't have to lie and say I don't have sin. I don't have to lie and say that I'm perfect. But I can say that, yeah, I'm a sinner. But I know I can boast about this because I'm going to boast because Paul says it's by his grace that no man oh God oh ho, 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 ho. it's by his grace his grace is sufficient then I'm still standing I'm still breathing I'm still living I'm living this moment all because of grace he will turn everything around and I want to encourage you, keep going, keep going. He's going to make a way. Father God, Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for forgiving us for our sins. We thank you, Lord, for looking at us, Lord, and, Lord, looking past our faults, Lord, but addressing every need, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we can be caught up in the fellowship. We thank you, Lord, that we have people that, and we can be surrounded by people that, that want to uh, see us grow in you, Lord, and we can grow together. We don't have to worry about uh, who, who, what's next, oh God, but we know Lord, that by your love, by your grace and your mercy, there is victory, there is freedom, Lord, and there's joy in your name. So we say thank you. Whoever is watching this, Lord, let us be closer to you. Let us be free from the sin and let us just be just drawn closer, oh God. We thank you, oh God, Lord. Break off the chains of addiction. Break off the chains of uh, abandonment. Break off the chains of thinking that you are going to leave us, that you're going to, that, that, that you're not for us. Break off everything that tries to hinder us and Lord, we fix our eyes on you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bestly friends.